What I'm talking to you today about is a big project that we've conducted over two years together with a lot of partners around the world to try to understand the potential impact of demand response. Now, what I mean by demand response is how we can get customers, how we can get consumers to respond to the way we want them to behave. Understanding the risks. We've all heard about, you know, there's a lot of discussion about how expensive demand, uh, smart metering is. What are the benefits of smart metering? What are the risks of smart metering? And of course, anything that you do that is new involves risks, involves challenges, involves startup problems. That doesn't mean that we shouldn't do it. Walt Disney once said that you come up with a good idea and you stick to it and you keep trying until you get it right. One of the characteristics of smart meters is that because they're newer and better, they are actually more accurate than the old, old meters. And one of the problems of that for customers is that they suddenly find that energy that wasn't metered before suddenly becomes metered. And then they get angry thinking that that's because the company, energy company is trying to rip them off. Looking at studies around the world and looking at the different markets, that 50% of the EU 2020 targets could be achieved through in the optimistic scenario. Um, less in the, in the moderate scenario, but that's still a lot of uh, improvement. CO2 emissions, 25% um, of the EU targets. And uh, peak generation avoided, even in the moderate scenario, 28 gigawatts. And the moderate scenario is very moderate, very modest scenario, up to 72 gigawatts. And avoided investment up to between, well, between 20 to 50 billion euros of avoided investment in generation. In these graphs, you see that um, the reduction during critical peak um, was 14%. And these are averages. These are averages from all those that we analyzed. 14% during uh, when it's five to six times, up to 27% reduction at critical peak time when the price is 15%. 15 times higher. And when we're thinking of what actually we automated, well, temperature and water boiler achieved the most, 44%. Temperature alone, 29%. Household appliances on their own can achieve 23%. And water boilers, 7%. These are very big reductions. And if you add them all together, you get an aggregated a, a benefit, of course. OK, so today, most customers, for most customers, electricity is not only seen as a natural human right, but also as a limitless, cheap, and harmless natural human right. When you go into a hotel room, you don't expect to use the telephone for free. When you go into a hotel room, you do expect to use the electricity for free. We think differently about electricity than we think about almost anything else. Thinking of customer benefits, from all of this. What, why should customers want smart metering? Why should they want demand response? Well, actually, we often think of, OK, they're going to save money. They're going to help the environment. Those are both true realities. But there are many other reasons why customers will want to uh, have smart metering and demand response, if only we can communicate it to them. There's this um, cleaner place to live, as I said, that if you can show customers that ultimately will feed back to them in terms of the environment which they live in, their own personal environment. They like the feeling of empowerment, the fact that they control their own energy consumption. Just taking smart meter data and providing it to your customer and finding out and helping the customer to then use that feedback to use their information more efficiently. The solutions of the future already exist. But what we need more than anything is a clear vision. We need a clear vision and a clear strategy to know where we are going. At the moment, companies are kind of thinking, you know, shall we do smart meters? What's the benefit of smart meters? Well, the benefit of smart meters will truly come in five, 10 years' time. Um, but those benefits require that you know from the beginning what you want to do with smart meters.